What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Cook's Essentials Digital Perfect Cooker from QVC.com. Now I get this question a lot and I want to do it today because um, you know my Digital Perfect Cooker is really the unsung hero to a lot of my meals like you'll see me making a meal on YouTube and um, you'll see me just quickly doing something in my um, perfect cooker I'm not really showing you just bits and pieces here and there but I get this question a lot how do I make my rice and red beans aka Doug's Doug style Jamaican rice and peas aka Doug's Jafakin rice and peas well I'm going to show you right now. Let's just open this up and take the inner pot out. All right. Now, before we begin, I just want to show you what I'm going to be using. I'm going to use a half an onion. Um, of course, we have, you can use black beans if you'd like, but I'm using red kidney beans. Um, salt, pepper, um, just a little bit of oil. Um, cayenne pepper is, um, you don't need to, but if it's duck style, you need just a little bit of bite to it. But the two key things you need, or you're gonna blow it, is ginger powder, and this, ground allspice. Now this is sometimes tough to find, if you can't find it, if you go to, I know Walmart did, I think I got that at Food Lion, which is a uh, local North Carolina supermarket. Um, if you can't find it in your supermarket, you can probably get it at Amazon. I know Walmart sells it like in, it's like a ball and you'd have to crush it. I don't like that because it's a very potent spice. So like if, and it, you know, when you crush it, it, it it'll turn like into like of a dust. And if it gets on the ground, like your kitchen will smell like allspice for days until it, you sweep it up. It's very potent. So I'd rather get it this way. Anyway, all right, I'm just going to put a little dab of olive oil in there. Not too much because that will mess it up. Yep, that's it. All right, guys, so we're going to chop up a half of an onion. I'm going to do it with my pull and chop. And shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group one time on Facebook. So I'm just going to put it in there real quick. So you chop it up however you want to do it. All right. So now I'm just gonna dump my onions in there. Get that out the way. And my bad guys, um, this is the rice that I use. I'm gonna use one cup of um, Uncle Ben's rice. I like Uncle Ben's rice. It's hard to mess up Uncle Ben's rice. It's easy to cook with Uncle Ben's rice. That's what my mama cook with. So that's what I know. That's what works. You can try your own rice, but I'm just telling you. All right, so I'm gonna dump one cup of uh, rice in there. You could do, um, yeah, one cup is good enough for your first try. Then you can play with, you know, one and a half to two cups. But one cup per can of beans is good. That's like a good ratio. I'm going to add one cup and a half of water and that's because I'm going to be making, you know, onions and beans with it. If it if it was just, you know, just the white rice, um, then I would do one to one. But since I have other stuff in there, I'm going to add an extra half cup of water to the mix. All right, so great thing now, we're going to add our seasonings. And the great thing about it is if it's not enough, um, you can add it when it's done. So don't 
you know, don't add too much now. So I'm just gonna add some salt. It's usually not enough, but I'd rather have too little than too much. You know what I'm saying? All right, so now I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper, not too much. I'll show you. Yeah, that's it. And maybe I like stuff hot, so that that amount might even be too much for you. I'm gonna add some ginger. I would say for you, like a tablespoon. That should be good enough. No, a teaspoon, teaspoon. Everything will be a teaspoon from here on out. Um, we're gonna add our allspice. Now, allspice, not, too, not a teaspoon of that actually. Just sprinkle some, that much. That's good enough. Um, what else do I need? Uh, some black pepper. Not too much. And, you know, you guys, if you don't like it hot, um, omit the uh, cayenne pepper and just add some black pepper. Because, you know, Jamaican rice has to be spicy. All right, so we're going to mix this real quick. So I'm just going to mix this up really quick. We're not done yet, though. Uh, just almost. Now we got to add our beans. I drain out a little bit of the oil or juice from it. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to add my red beans. Let's see. As you can see, there's still some juice in there. I just took some of it. I took almost half of it out. And get all of it in there. Yeah, that's good. And you're just going to give it one last spin. And the juice from the, um, from the beans actually is going to color your rice. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> okay. All right. Now all I need to do is put the top on. All right. The top is on. I'm just going to fasten it. And now all I do... Just hit the rice button. That's it. And it's going to beep when it's done. And voila. You'll have Jafake and rice and peas before you know it. Now it'll take, I don't know, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes. Because, um, you know, as you know, this this is like a basically like a s small... Um, rice cooker you know what I mean so it's not gonna cook it super fast and I'm not in a rush but I love the way it makes rice and various different other things and um, right now it's twenty dollars at QVC so don't be afraid of success go and get you one I'll be back and since we're doing jafakin we might as well go all the way out guys this is a plantain right here and most of you know it some of you don't. If you don't, well, I'm putting you on to something. I'm going to put this in my air fryer. So basically, I'm going to cut the ends. Slit, um, make a slit in the middle. And just peel off the skin. And then I'm going to chop it up into pieces how I want them. I won't show you my cutting skills because my subscribers know I can't cut worth a darn. I know y'all laughing out there. Stop laughing. I remember one time I was cutting something on camera on one of my videos um, last year. <laughs> and one of my subscribers, I forgot her name because I know her. She's in my group. She's like, she was, a, she was um, scared for my fingers. <laughs> I might cut them off. <laughs> All right, so right now I'm going to sprint it with some, um, some oil. I 
I'm going to turn them over into my air fryer basket and then I'll hit the other side. But right now on this side, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt. That's optional, don't have to do that. But I like a little bit of salt on mine. Like I said, that's optional. All right. You don't need a rack, but make sure you spray out your um, air fryer bra uh, basket with whatever you spray it with, spam or whatever. I, I'm going to use pan, but use whatever you use. Okay, so I flipped them into the air fryer, um, sprinted it with some oil, and put some salt on the top. All right. I did it for 12 minutes. I'm going to flip that six. All right, just heard the beep, so we're done. My plantains are done, and I took them out two minutes early, so 10 minutes is fine. All right, so I'm going to take the top off. And that's what it's going to look like. Shout out to QVC one more time. I got a, um, a piece of my lock and lock Tupperware set out. I'm about to dump the rice in there. Now, all I do is just mix it on up. And then once you mix it up, you give it a taste. Make sure it's salty enough. And you add, like I'm gonna add a little bit more salt, um, a little bit more allspice, and that should be good. So when you do your, when you taste it, it should be salty enough. You should be tasting ginger. So ginger and the allspice spice should stand out in this rice. Not overbearing, but it should definitely smell and taste like it. So I'm going to take another taste. I added salt, a little bit more ginger, a little bit of more um, allspice. Yeah, perfect. Perfect though. And that's, that's how I make it, guys. All right, guys. Yeah, I got to wrap this up. But um, this is what my plate um, looks like. Um, actually, I have my homegirl coming over a little later. She's going to... She's actually making some rib, baby back ribs and some mac and cheese. So I told her what I was making. So we're going to combine. And um, the plate will be called When Jamaica Visits North Carolina. So, on my plate will be ribs and mac and cheese. So, we're just waiting. I'm just waiting on her to bring that. But I just wanted to, while I was waiting, I just wanted to, you know, go ahead and do this video. Because, um, like I said, a lot of people have been asking me and I wanted to show you guys. I'll put a link in the description to my Digital Perfect Cooker group. Um, guys, I want you to join if you have it. Share what you can make and take a look at what we've made and add that to your recipe book. All right, and uh, oh, actually, I usually give you all a taste, don't I? All right. Well, you first. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Well, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. Faint thing. Thanks for even looking at my video. Cooking with Doug.